Hello and welcome to Crosstown Auto Center. My name is BB and today I will be taking you around this 2015 Chrysler 200S all-wheel drive in a granite crystal metallic clear coat. Under the hood, you've got that legendary 3.6 liter V6 engine coupled with a 9-speed automatic transmission. On the front we have your headlights, daytime running lights, and some fog lights. Coming down the side, we are riding on 18-inch Bridgestone tires, still with plenty of tread left. And if you look up, you can see that all four windows roll almost all of the way down. And on your mirrors, we do have the blind spot detection. Alright, if you follow me inside, there's still a lot more I can show you. Helping you into your 2015 Chrysler 200S is the remote proximity keyless entry with a one-way remote start, automatic trunk release, and a panic alarm. To activate the remote start, all you have to do is press this button here twice, and the car will get started for you. To turn that off, all you have to do is press that button one more time, and the car will shut off. I'll show you that automatic trunk release a little later on. Unlock the car, all you have to do is press the unlock button once for the driver's side door, twice for all four doors, and to lock it you press that lock button once and all four doors are secure. Another cool feature we have with this key, if you have it in your pocket and you don't want to take it out, you can actually just put your hand right behind the door handle, it'll sense that you have the key on you, it'll unlock it for you. To lock it, all you have to do is press the lock button and it's locked. Alright, let's go take a look inside. As you can see, the door opens up nice and wide. On the door, we've got your power mirrors, windows, and locks. Down below, we've got a bottle holder as well as some storage. Coming in, we've got your automatic light so you can set it and forget it. We've got the power adjustable driver's seat with the back lumbar support. And we've also got the full leather sport seats, which look fantastic. All right, if you bear with me, I will get in and get the car started for you. It is a push to start, so all you have to do is put your foot onto the brake and push the button to start. As you can see, on this car we have 11,742 kilometers, so it is still within warranty. All you have to know is the in-service date, and you can come talk to one of our knowledgeable product advisors about what this warranty means for you. We've got a nice large cluster. You can actually customize the cluster right in front of you. All you have to do is play with the arrow keys on the left hand side of your steering wheel. And if you go through, you can look at screen setup, messages, audio, trip information, fuel economy, vehicle information, and there's so much more to come play around with. Also on the left hand side of your steering wheel, we've got your Bluetooth controls as well as your voice recognition. We've also got the paddle shifters for the sport mode. On the right hand side of your steering wheel, we've got your cruise control settings. And just behind that, we've got some audio controls and they're just below the paddle shifters here. So if you look towards the screen, you can see that I can turn the volume up, I can turn it down, and I can even change the radio station, all with the press of a button which is really cool. The screen that you're looking at is the large 8.4 inch Uconnect touch screen with navigation. We can open up that navigation feature here. The Uconnect means that you can pair a phone or a media device if you so choose. We've got our climate controls here. We've got the dual zone climate controls so you and your passenger will never fight over the temperature in the cabin. We've also got some more controls. We have the heated and vented front seats as well as the heated steering wheel. So doesn't matter the weather, you're going to be super comfortable in this Chrysler 200. We'll exit out of there. This is where you'd connect your media devices and you've got your radio with the Sirius XM radio. And down here, we've got our dual zone climate controls here as well. If you didn't want to control it through the screen, you've got the option of using it down here got some our volume controls as well as our audio controls. A little lower than that we've got the rotary e-shift and if we turn that into reverse 
it actually activates that backup camera that we have. And the screen is so large that the image on the screen is so crisp and so clear you can see everything behind you, which is really great. That S, if you turn it to the S, you'll turn it into the sport mode, and that's where you can use those paddle shifters I showed you a little earlier on. Right over here to the right is our parking brake. If we look up over here, we've got our glove box. I can open that up for you. And it's a nice large glove box, so you can store just about anything you need in here, which is really handy. Coming over to the center, we've got our center console. We've got two cup holders here. If we press this button here and slide, we've actually got some papers in here. I'll take those out so you can see. We've got a nice large center console and you've actually got a 12 volt charger, auxiliary input, as well as a USB port. Another cool feature, there's this little hole here. You can actually feed your charging cords through there and you can lay your phone down flat here on the rubber mat and it'll stay nice and secure while it's charging. Out of sight, out of mind. And this feature, if we slide that back, we can actually open up the rest of our center console. And it's again a nice large bin in here. And this actually slides all the way through. And it's actually a conjoining center console, so it feeds all the way through. Which is really cool. Alright, we'll close that up. Okay, I know I've shown you a lot up front, but if you follow me to the back, I can show you a lot more. So I've gone ahead and opened up the back door for you. It opens up nice and wide as well. On the back door, we've got your power windows as well as some storage and a bottle holder below. Coming in, we've got some mat pockets. And we've got our fantastic leather seating followed throughout. If we pull this tab down here, this actually brings out two cup holders, an elevated armrest, and another little storage area for your back passengers. And last but not least in the back seat here, if you pull this tab, this actually activates that 60-40 rear folding split seat, which is a really cool feature. And it feeds right through into your trunk, which I will show you right now, so follow me. trunk here we've got your backup camera and we've actually got a button to open up your trunk but I did promise you I'd show you that automatic trunk release so I will do that now we've got your handy dandy key and you can to open up the trunk all you have to do is press this button here twice and the trunk opens up for you and you just give it a nice little lift and you've got access to your trunk Coming in, you can see just how large it is. Plenty of cargo space. And if we pull this, we've got our spare tire in here. Okay, we'll close this and go around to the other side. Open up this door now. And this seat is the exact same. You just pull the tab and that'll fold the seat down. So if you do need more room in your, from your trunk, you've actually got the option of folding the seats down if you don't need them, and you've got tons of extra cargo room, which is really neat. Okay, we'll close this up. And last but not least, we'll come into the front passenger side. You can see that the passenger also has that power adjustable seat. And there's another 12 volt charger here for your passenger. Okay. Well, that is all, and I just want to say thank you for taking the time to walk around this 2015 Chrysler 200S all-wheel drive with me. My name is Bibi. I am here at Crosstown Auto Center's used car superstore. We are here on the corner of 156th Street and the Yellowhead Trail. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.